Wir nehmen dich heute mit. We're with Schreiner. And where are we going? We're taking you with us today into the wine garden, into the, into the vineyard to marvel. So where is this wine garden, this vineyard, and why is it so special? Well, Schreiner is located in Rust in Brigenland. It's an expansive place known for a wide variety of grapes. It's fact, in fact, its most widely planted grape, Blau Frankish, only makes up 23% of all the grapes, and that gives you a sense of the diversity. A quick look at the map of Austria. Most of the vineyards are clustered on the eastern border near Slovenia and Hungary. Zoom a little closer into the coast of Hungary, you'll see Austria's largest lake, the Neusiedler See, a dominant feature, and it's a very shallow lake. At its deepest, it's only two meters, and this influences viticulture in Austria and Hungary. The Pannonian winds, a combination of sun and wind, the, the mist, and the sea that stores the summer heat in the fall, the famous Petritus, and uh, of course, great reds and whites, um, among other things. And on the banks of the Neusiedl is Rust, a small, charming town. This is where Schreiner makes its home. And it's the land of storks and noble wine. Uh, apparently the storks love it here. Here's a view of some of the six hectares that Schreiner owns. You'll see right away it's full of flora, full of life. These soils are not dead, they're, they're vibrant. Uh, these beautiful purple flowers uh, blooming in the summertime. Almost all the properties that I've visited in uh, for wine-wise, they have this beautiful to look at. And you just don't see this in conventionally farmed vineyards. And the family, Gernot and Victoria uh, Schreiner. They're magnetic, a charming couple. They took over the family estate several years ago, all six hectares uh, around Rust. And their farming ethics, adherence to organic principles, just blows past the requirements for certification. It extends to everything. It's more of a mentality. It includes what they what they eat and what they wear. It's in the it's in the winery's name, Bio Weingut Schreiner. They're a family with small kids, uh, you know, like Stefan Bauer. And I think the words that are elicited here, you know, Poltz is the musical winery, Stefan Bauer is conviviality, Walzer is a cerebral winery, Schreiner is the heartwarming one uh, with, with kids. But of course, you know, the quality of the wines, that's what, that's what must make the story. That's what has to clinch it for most of us, right? And the uniqueness of their soils is worth highlighting. Hey, WineWise, greetings from Roost. And I'm here with Gernot Schreiner. Hello. And we are tasting the 2021 Hodolit. And an example of what the rock looks like. The actual Hodolit is very particular to this region. We have a quarter of the vines from, from this area um, are Blau Frankish. And this is the Hodolit 2021. Bye, everybody. Bye. Here is a picture of the fossils uh, that uh, make up some of the vineyards. So let's take a look at the windy spot here. You'll see. Uh, the, the, the leaves just move around. This is a, this is a constant uh, flux of, of wind. I hope this gives you a sense of, of that terroir, not just the soil, but the environment above ground as well as below. Now let's take a quick jaunt downstairs, uh, now into the cellar. And there's a sincerity and purity of their wines. It's, it, it's demonstrated in their cellar work. Um, it's fantastic stuff. That's uh, We're proud to have them in California, the, their first strong foothold into the U.S. Speaking of um, heartwarming aspects, um, we have this beautiful wine. It's a blend, Tutsamen uh, Gehen, which means together we go. Uh, it's a delicious wine, but it's also for a good cause. Every year they dedicate, they donate proceeds of of the wine they sell to this to, to different charities and different organizations that, that uh, they work with. And there are the dessert wines, including their Ausbruch, and there you have it, Schreiner, Bio-Weingut Schreiner.